Hello humans and otherwise, I am Adicia and welcome back to Mega Man May, where I want to play every Mega Man X game of the month of May, and welcome to the worst game in the Mega Man X series, Mega Man X 7. Oh boy, this is not going to be fun for me. It might be fun for you, watching how bad I ended up playing this, because this game is really hard because of its 3D crap, and because it's just not good. Hopefully my frustrations are entertaining. This is it. Ready to rock? I'm always ready. What, what the? You wait here. I guess you've heard of Red Alert. I know I have. He's literally a machine. Do you really need a cane at the walk? Can't you just fix yourself? Huh? Who's there? It's me, Alus. It was the perfect plan. How did they find out? Hmm? <laughs> You're not very sharp, are you? What the? You are the traitor. No, he's pretty rounded. Not uh, say he's not I sharp. I took care of him a second ago. Wh what happened? How did you do that? Look at the angles on Axel. He's sharper. Sometime in the twenty-second century. More bad voice acting. Thanks to the Reploid. Even the most devastated regions were set back on the road to recovery. But crimes perpetrated by Mavericks were on the rise. The Maverick Hunters was the official organization that responded to incidents involving Mavericks. One of the veteran members, X, began having second thoughts about the group's forceful methods. He removed himself from the front lines and instead worked to achieve more peaceful solutions. Always a pacifist, X. Why must Reploids fight one another? I've had enough violence. He's just doing what Dr. Light wanted him to do. Hunters crippled by X's retirement. An underground organization filled the vacuum. And thus, Red Alert, the illegal band of bounty hunters who pursued Mavericks, was born. Soon, there was not a single Reploid that had not heard of Red Alert and their charismatic leader, Red. 
One day, a young Reploid and key member of Red Alert made the decision to leave the group. This decision would change destiny itself. Goodbye, Red. I'll become a hunter on my own. You really need to just stand in that pose as you talk? A new battle began. Just casually uh, thinking to yourself, I'm going to stand in this pose with my guns out. Ready? Not really. But I suppose we got to do it anyway. The 2D segments, not so bad. The 3D parts that are the worst. Though all of it's horrible. Uh oh. You have to take out the main security laser. Use hover. I pushed in hell day. It didn't work. Oh, yeah. He is not hovering for some reason. I end up dying right away because the controls aren't working properly. I thought I was playing Mega Man X, not Monster Hunter. Get up, Axel. Stay on the ground forever just because you get hit. That's Monster Hunter's thing. You hit once and you gotta stay on the ground for like five minutes. Instead of just getting up. Just for some reason, not laying on the ground is far too difficult. Okay, that's how you control it. Switch targets constantly here. You can't just switch from one to the other, you just kind of swap all over the place, it looks like. Phew! Somebody please tell me I'm through with the worst of it. Nope. This game's just started, unfortunately. I can't believe I'm back here again. What the heck has happened? They really made a mess. Well, it's the same place as Mega Man X1, the Central Highway intro stage. Uh, what the heck happened? The same thing that happened in that game. You were there too, you would know. Or you said you're back here again? And then Zero is speaking without moving his mouth. He's become telepathic. Ready? The same like Horde enemies too. How slow he swings his sword now. It seems like they're all this really clunky. Rather than uh, swift like they were in uh, previous X games. Some of the characters' move has been gotten worse. Oh, we just do this. We're controlling zero. We can do that, right? Get out. I 
Just like before, they don't blow up, they simply crash. There's these walker enemies and the bees from X1. Now this is good stuff too. You you physically can't move on until you kill all these enemies. What's stopping you? What thing in universe prevents him from being able to move to the right simply because there are enemies here? That's what I want to know. What physically stops him from being able to move? Oh no, more 3A. That made us immediately fly away. Remember Zero being a pain to play in this? Because Things can come in from any angle, and you can't really do anything about that. You need to be able to lock on, so you need zero, you know, X or Axel. And X isn't even playable for a good deal of the game. You need to unlock him, despite him being the main character. That's what I can see there, camera. I can't even control the camera at all. Two D, as it should be. It's like there's a reason that the Capcom didn't do 3D again after this. They would expect the 2D in X8. I think it was a 2.5D thing, I think. But they didn't do 3D. Out of the way! Out of the way! Huh? Wait a second. Are you stupid? You're in danger if you just stand there. Get a move on! You said wait a second. It's been longer than a second. Why are you still waiting, Axel? You connected to this incident. Incident? What are you talking about? Oh, here it comes. So I'll be seeing ya. What's going on? A scorpion bot. Now, I remember being able to do that against Sigma's final form. You've got some explaining to do. Okay, I'll tell you everything, but later. Right now, I have to take care of that freak. You're zero, so you can handle this, right? Even though he lost all of his abilities and his big health bar and all that again. I'm Axel. Call me if you need a hand. <sighs> well, this has become a real pain. I want a full explanation when this is all over. Telepathic Zero. I'm willing on it. It doesn't look like anything's happening to its health bar either. Now let's use Axel. So in this game, you can use two characters at once. I think you can do that in X8 as well. And you made like a super attack in that game. Sorry, call. We gotta beat the final boss that way. I think you had to beat the final boss that way, actually, in X8. Now that I think about it.
At least I didn't die like I did the very first time I played this game, where I did die on the intro stage. I'm not gonna run off, so could you take this thing off? It makes me feel like a criminal. I, I'm not gonna run off. I can't. I'm in a cutscene. Feel like a criminal. Um, okay. Maybe what I did was wrong, but like we were a perfect team, don't you think? When we kicked that big dude's butt, I thought, yeah, we would make a great combo. So, where's X been lately? I haven't seen him around. Sit tight. He's just beyond this door. Nice work, Zero. So, you're the one who caused all this trouble. I guess so. I had no idea they'd send that kind of gear after us. Here? Who's after you? I left Red Alert. Believe it or not, I'm a hunter. Red Alert? You mean that gang of wannabe vigilantes? Do you realize how much damage your internal bickering has caused? I apologize for that, but I had to leave. As for what happened as a result, that's the way it goes. Now your bickering has caused a really terrible game to occur! Do you have any idea? Ex Kool-Aid. All right, Axel. Why don't you start by telling us why you left? Red Alert changed. They're no better than murderers now. They used me. We used to only attack the bad guys, but not anymore. I couldn't take it. They're going to come for Axel, no doubt. This is our chance. Red Alert has caused us far too much trouble. How can you say that? If we fight, we'll fall right into their hands. We can't allow this madness to continue. I know what you mean, X. But we can't talk them out of this. Sometimes fighting is the only choice. That's quite enough. You need to back off and pay the dues for your crimes. What happened? Unidentified transmission. Feeding to monitor. You getting this, hunters? I'm Red, leader of your friends here at Red Alert. I never imagined our little friend would end up in your hands. But in any case, I want Axel back. Now, don't you worry. I know he won't come back easily, so how about this? Like you, we're hunters. We've trashed our share of Mavericks. So how about a duel? A duel to determine who the real Maverick hunters are. Well... I'm sure you won't mind if we use the Mavericks that we've captured so I see. far. So the last Shut up so I can talk! Wins. If we lose, we'll surrender Axel to you. And if we win... This is auto scrolls, I can't stop it. You've got to be kidding. Axel has nothing to do with us. We won't fight the likes of you for his sake. Well, pretty big talker for a retiree. We could care less about deadbeats like you. We just want Axel. He is there, isn't he? Now you just sit tight, my boy. <laughs> Let's see, the real Maverick Hunters are the ones literally called Maverick Hunters. Mavericks are showing up across the map. I'll check for damage. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Well, this is turning into a real mess. X, you said I need to pay my dues, right? 
So make me a Maverick Hunter. Me and Zero make a great team, and together we could take care of Red Alert. Are you mad? You have no business as a hunter. I'm serious. It would be a perfect chance to make up for my wrongdoing. If you had just gone back, the problem would have been solved. But I can see that won't be happening. Right. These aren't run-of-the-mill criminals. They won't listen to reason. And even if Axel did go back, which he won't, would they stop their misdeeds? I don't think so. Zero, you're my hero. Hey, I knew you'd understand. I always thought you and X were so cool. I want to fight. I want to be a maverick hunter. Not just anybody can become a hunter, kid. We're not getting anywhere with this. I'm ready to go. No, wait. I'm going by myself. As for you, you can do as you please. Yeah. X, if I catch all the bounty hunters, you've got to promise me you'll let me be a maverick hunter. Talk is cheap. Prove it to me first. And don't forget this. Okay, I won't let you down. Another pointless conflict has begun. X, don't overthink this. This time, our only choice is to fight. We've made this mistake time and time again. Why must Reploids continue this accursed cycle of aggression? Because they keep making more games! All you have to do is stop Capcom from making more games and there won't be way more battles! Yes, save. The save I had when I did this previously, but decided to not bother to keep the recording because there was too much extra noise in it. I never, I never bothered to press stage select. I just stopped it. Okay, let's see if I can remember these names now. We're detecting energy from deep within the Lost Woods. Find it! Oh, well, Link could deal with the Lost Woods. That's his thing, right? Okay, you... I... Soldier Stone Kong. Air Force's mysterious ship has been spotted five miles in the air to straight now. Wind Crow Rang. Virus has escaped through a crack in the electrosphere. Destroy it. Snipe Ant Eater! I, I think I've had 100% accuracy on my guesses in the previous games. Let's see if I can still do that. Use a ride chaser to find and destroy the time bomb in the circuit. Ah, oh, I remember that stage. Right, Borski? I hated that stage. Oh, no, it's you! The Lava Energy Factory suffered an attack. We capture it from the enemy. Well, your name is Burn to the Ground! The special Defense Base has been taken. Use the right armor and retake it. That's, a uh, The Vanishing Gungaroo. I think. Take back the Central Radio Tower. Tornado Tanyan around the round, the German onion. I remember him for sure. A menacing fortress that commands the seas, a straight to halt this advance. Splash Warfly! Red Alert doesn't like the these eight stages as locations for the duel. Select an area with. Plus A to go. RB for rescue file, yep. 
rescue him again. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to this one. Hopefully they tone down his voice clips. Burn to the ground, burn to the ground, burn, burn! <laughs> Everyone knows that one. But I've experienced it personally several times. Let's start here. Choose your team. I want you to work in teams of two from now on. Stay with your current team, select OK and push A. Disband your team and form a new one. Okay, let me skip this, Alia. i start with zero. Because he is the main character. Compared to Axel, anyway, who literally disappeared in this game. Okay, I got the name right. Hopefully I get them all right. And that was like the most entertaining part of this entire Let's Play right there. I'm trying to remember their names. Beyond that, nothing's going to go well. Can you hear me, Zero? Yes, but I'm not going to listen to you. Shut up. Don't act like I care. I mean, it takes forever to kill. Like here, definitely need access for this stuff. I was just swapping because Zero is losing some health. I'm used to, and I gotta hold it. I'm used to jumping and then pressing jump again, like fourth armor and such. But no, you gotta jump and hold it in this case. And Axel can't even charge. Except for this, this copy shot, which is like no damage. I want to try to copy this thing. Oh well. I think there was a bot I had to I had to actually copy in order to do certain things. So I wouldn't mind it running out because it's hard to hit these enemies this way. He does eventually fall, as you'd expect. No infinite gliding. I want to copy shot that thing and just start rolling on enemies. That'd be funny. You blew that one up. That thing went up. Anything up here? Come on, go back up. Zero can double jump. Louise! 
Mick! I think I had to save so many of them to get X back. I definitely want X back. See, Nick, why not Nick, too? Use some health now, though. Can you hear me, Axel? Can you hear me, Axel? Well, that was Spikes. But, didn't save him. I'm pretty sure I, I said that I did actually save every single Reploid in this game. Three times. Because that's the only way to get everything in the game. This was so many years ago, though. And I have no intention of doing that now. I will save them as I go, though, just like I was doing in X6. Because they still give you parts. Permanent upgrades this time. Plus, I'm locking X, so... Hear you now. What was that? Jump zero. No. Great. As long as I get to save them, and as long as I don't have to, you know, see them all again if I get a game over, because I don't remember if that's the case or not. I'm pretty sure in this game, you just start from the beginning of the stage as you get over. I think they started doing that after this again, you know, like they did in the original games. <laughs> that's how it was at the beginning. I can't remember if they do it in this game or not. We'll find out. They have no doubt I'm gonna game over a lot. But heck, if we can rescue some Reploids as we go, probably possibly get some permanent power-ups, I'll take it. The whole thing is, yeah, you get permanent power-ups, but it's not possible to completely max out every character because there aren't enough of them unless you finish the game three times. Ah! He didn't hover! I'll explain how Hunter Rank is determined, so listen carefully. Rank is determined by factors such as the number of rescued Reploids, total damage, and defeated enemies. Become a world-class hunter. I don't care about the rankings. It's irrelevant to me. Well, I got a life up and an energy got a life up for Axel and an energy up for zero, apparently. Is it because of who they rescued? 
Although this may rescue or avoid data, rescuers should, rescue should be a high priority as you can get chip items. Rescue Reploids, I'll give you valuable chip items. Use chip items to power up abilities. Choose wisely. Yeah, because there aren't enough. There's like enough chips to max out one character per playthrough. First, scroll the character you wish and select the they. Well, we're actually gonna power up Axel. Rapid fire, normal attack. Increase normal attack power. Yes. I am gonna spread them out as we go. Yes, play the same stage again. Let's see, does it start from the beginning? beginning anyway, weren't we, so... Axel hits harder, 30%, that's the most important thing there. Anything to get through the stages faster, I'll take that. Let's see how long he was taking to kill anything to begin with. This extra damage certainly is helping out. Can you hear me, Axel? I know to help out against the bosses. Shut up! It's like, what if I don't want to hear you? Go down so I can see! Ah. He wouldn't grab the wall! He refused to grab the wall! This is the 2D segment, not the 3D, where it's even worse! But yeah... And you can still duck, huh? But I remember... The controls not responding properly, definitely being an issue in this game. And wall jumping in 3D is like the worst thing ever! I'm just getting stuck on everything. Heart tank. I think that only applied to Axel, though. Which is basically fine, because I'm going to be using uh, X and Axel through this playthrough. Ignoring zero, as usual. Other than an X4. <laughs> I couldn't see it. That wouldn't have been a problem in a previous game since we wouldn't have this weird view we got going on. It would have been a full side view. But no, they can have this pseudo 3D thing in order to say, oh, look at the graphics. Ooh, fancy, aren't they? Instead of fully to the side, 
Let's throw this side and at a slight angle so you can't see as well. And then I show him the bottom of the screen. Axel, climb the wall. It is not hard. I'm going to spend the rest of this episode just trying to get failing to get through this stage. I'm not even going to reach the boss. Because I can't even get past this platforming because I can't see it. The challenge should be doing the platforming, not not being able to see the platforms. Because you decided to give a terrible camera angle. This is going to show off the graphics. Can you hear me, Ooh, look, it's 3D. Fancy, isn't it? No, it's not. It's ugly. No hovering when they're supposed to be hovering. I hold A. Nothing happens! Nothing happens. Uh, well, let's mess with this stage real quick. I'll hit this one too. Gotta be Russian. Borsky! Wait. Oh no! A time bomb is set on the course! You know how to use a ride chaser, right? Unfortunately. Use A to speed up, use X to use the buster. There's no time, hurry! I'm more worried about. Cut re I'm not worried about the bombs right now. I'm more worried about uh, recovering uh, reploids. I'm constantly missing anyway. If I die here, it's like, whatever, I don't care. I can't turn around. Rock! What can I save? Roll! I mean, rock and roll, or classic Mega Man there, so... Rushed. Is that one that could have rescued? I just blew past. Oh, I couldn't tell. The camera wouldn't move. I can't move the camera.
Heart tank. I think I got that heart tank. Ah. Right past it and couldn't grab it. Ready? Okay, any more simple now. Let me save the Reploids. I go a bit slower, I'm okay with that. As long as I can rescue the Reploids. No, you are an enemy, okay. I missed it! There, help. You made me miss it, darn you. Those expl explosions. Ah, I couldn't help Tanaka. That's that bomb too, somehow. This thing is too hard to control. Basically, this is what it wants. Not fun to do. This is rather annoying. As I knew it would be before I even started this stage. As I remember this stage, I remember not liking this stage or anything about this game at all for that matter. That's everything. You guys remnants of the road attackers? Ah, I remember this boss theme too. This is definitely familiar. Oh, oh, how dare you group us with those punks? You'll get it for this. Oh, so you must be the road riders then. Why, you, you, I'm gonna, I oughta, you! Warning! Warning! Charge! Here goes nuts, you punk, you punk, you punk! I know, you punk, you punk, you punk! That tells me they are gonna burn to the ground. They're gonna spam the dialogue, they are gonna burn to the ground. No way. I got no way to heal myself, so I don't expect to win here.
Get up, Zero! If one, of the, if one of your characters goes down, you just automatically lose. Even though you've got another character. That doesn't count. Yes way! Axel doesn't want to hover. There we go. Ah, you get away from that in time. Stop shooting that! That's why you don't actually hit him! I don't want to use zero. No way. Yes, way. There, and there's really nothing you can do about it. Contact damage! I would have beaten him, but contact damage! Death by touching! Which will never make any sense in any game ever! Both those at the very least. This is power of recovery items. All right, let's make him hit harder. Increases damage by half. Let's 
Let's just power the hell up on Axel. Now it should be a lot easier to beat that boss. Oh yeah. Shouldn't be too hard now. It actually hits even harder and takes half damage. But that's where we're definitely going to stop for now. Going to be trying to beat Rydborski again next time, I imagine. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if for whatever reason you want to talk to me, you can find me on Discord in the link in the description.